This afternoon, Agriculture Minister Damien O'Connor announced $50,000 to help Nelson Tasman farmers and growers in what has been described as a medium-scale adverse event. And he's with us now live. Good evening, Minister. What does that mean, that declaration in practical terms for people living in that area? Look, what it means to the farmers is firstly there'll be some support or more support available from the Rural Support Trusts. When they're talking with their bankers or talking with other people, everyone will understand that this is a pretty uh, acute situation and that the farmer um, is not alone and challenged by this. And um, it just means that, that all the agencies of government um, are aware of the dilemma and will help in any way they can. So while it's not a significant uh, assistance for any in particular farmer, it says that this region is under pressure. We've obviously seen that the, the fire is a big challenge for a lot of people, especially those in and around the perimeter. Um, but for the wider region, um, this, this has turned around from what it was a situation with reasonable feed, uh, reasonable moisture prior to Christmas till now one of acute shortage uh, of both moisture and for some feed for their stock. When I spoke to this, uh, the Civil Defence Minister last night, he said that you weren't looking at um, declaring an adverse event. So what changed in that time? Look, we, we uh, assessed a n there are a number of factors uh, across the board that we look at um, and this was, we, we, we thought that we had to move here to ensure that people felt that they were supported when needed. Um, the Prime Minister came down yesterday, we assured all the people involved with the fire operation uh, that government would do whatever we could to help them. Uh, it's important that others who are out are uh, challenged by some you know, similar situations. Uh, things are very dry, there's a risk of fire, um, as we saw just this afternoon, anywhere popping up. Um, so we're just ensuring that we're supporting the people uh, across the region and not just those, uh, as I say, on the firing line. There are a lot of people that rely week to week on a paycheck who work in the agricultural sector. You know, for example, the um, forestry has suspended in, in a significant area as a result of this. The, the sawmill is shut down at the moment. You know, seasonal workers. What is there for them? Well, that's what we have to look at, at methods of supporting them. Um, you know, in terms of the drought, you know, we have orchardists who have got a lot of apples on their trees. They're now contemplating whether without water, you know, does that stress the trees and ruin their crop next year? Uh, how do they manage this crop of apples that might not get to full maturity? Uh, a lot of uncertainties around jobs. And, and for those and workers, what, what do you yeah, recommend well, those workers do who, who are well, picking that, up a cheque? What we are ensuring is that the government agencies are now aware of the situation, that, that we will now work on a plan to help them and uh, ensure that they do have an income. We can't, can't specify what uh, applies to each particular worker or mm. individual, but the government agencies, uh, supported by government, um, will, will do their very best for them. How quickly can they do that? Well, as quickly as necessary. At the moment, everyone is... So a matter <laughs> of days? Gained Everyone's gainfully employed uh, actually trying to fight this fire around the region and uh, it's an incredible effort by both volunteers, by the community, um, putting food together, you know, cooking it up, providing it to the worker, um, people who are fighting the fire. I don't think anyone's sitting by idle at this point, but as you say, in the future, um, when we do the, 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 the mop-up, I guess, um, there will be less jobs because we've had a hell of a lot of trees burned and those are the things that we'll be needing to plan for in the future. So this area is not the only one that's been experiencing extreme dry patches. Are you anticipating any further declarations or drought declarations? And if so, what areas are you looking at? Well, I think what's, what's happened is the speed of change has hit everyone. Um, there was reasonable rainfall, very good season through the spring, um, but there'd been very hot, dry with wind across uh, areas like Tasman, Nelson, up in Northland. Uh, even the top of the west coast is now is starting to really suffer. So we're looking at those uh, regions, uh, you know, almost on a day-to-day -day basis as they get uh, acutely dry. So do you anticipate that there will be some assistance, say, for Marlborough and Northland? Uh, yes, we are anticipating that we'll have to look at that and we'll be talking with farmers, with Rural Support Trust, Federated Farmers, um, to make sure that, that when we do uh, make the decision, then the resources go uh, are put to good effect and go to the right people. Just before you go, Minister, how long before you make a decision on those areas? Uh, look, I can't say that. That depends uh, on a number of factors. Obviously here uh, uh, in, in Nelson, uh, it doesn't look like we will get rain. Uh, I think the same may apply to Northland. Uh, the West Coast uh, you may get it. So again, MPI working with NIWA, working with a lot of agencies, does that assessment on a regular basis. 
Thank you for joining us this evening. That is Damien O'Connor, the Agricultural Minister.